Hi, I'm James. Welcome to Molten Make, and today we're going to be making Adam Savage's EDC2 bag in the style of The Martian. So let me make something clear. This is not easy. I mean, it is very easy, but it is difficult to get it to be really precisely good. And that's even with me following along with Adam's build, watching Ellen and Miles and anyone else who's made this bag. It's scary. It's really scary that you're going to mess it up. But you know what? Making one little bit makes all the difference. And once you've seen what you can do, it gets easier. Once I'd cut all of the pieces out, I put the two outer pieces together and then the pocket onto the inner liner. The instructions are quite clear, so it's easy to just sew these bits on. I've lined up this bit. This is the side edge of the bottom. I'm running a seam down here just to hold it in place. That's what they suggest in Adam's video. That's what I've done on this side. Now I'm going to do it on that side. All right, let's see if I can try and show you what it looks like when I actually sew and just how slowly I do it. Here goes. Right, progress update. Wait, space bag? Should that be a status update? This is how far we've got. Now this is the outer bit with the design on and here is the bottom bit. Sew it along one bit here, one bit there and then a top stitch all along this edge here that's folded over. So somehow I've got to get this form a bag. Right, back to the video. Okay, I've watched the video, I've had a bit more of a read of the instructions and I think I've got it. The key here is the size you want, the good sides, go together, the face sides. Sew down the edge and then fold the bottom bit in half and sew down that. So for the main bag, turn it inside out so it's flat and then we're going to sew down this side here. We'll be left with a little opening at the bottom which we will then fold and sew along the bottom, I think. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Right. Let's have a look. I think it's worked. It works. And now I can even put the inside in. But actually, uh, got to go to real work. So, uh, Change of t-shirt, change of everything, and see you in now. Day two, new t-shirt, new challenges, new fun. Outside's done, inside's done, handles, zip, base, and strap. But uh, what to use for the base? Could use aluminium, could use wood, but this is meant to be flight hardware. It's meant to be light, meant to be, I'll be back. Got it, I've got it. This stuff, it's called foam core, at least that's what I've heard it called. Paper on the outside, foam in the middle. Pretty strong, pretty rigid, pretty lightweight. And hopefully, pretty perfect. Well, not, I mean, it's gonna dent a bit, but we'll pull that character. We can charge extra. Oh, and the other nice thing about foam core? Yeah, there we go. You can just use pins pin stuff to it because it's like a giant pin board. I've been having to think about the face and while I like the foam core idea I also think it needs a bit more protection at the bottom and that's partly because I don't want the bottom to get too scuffed up and partly because I really like what Ellen did and I'm going to shoehorn it into the video. I'm using these. Now this is because I don't have any specific bag feet or something similar but I think they're going to work well. Let me show you. So these 
are almost like a rivet, but on the bottom, that is a popper. So if you see them on jackets or on other items of clothing, they're very strong, but because they're made of metal, I think they should be able to sit on the bottom of the bag, like that, with the bag on top, and give it a bit of resistance being scuffed against the floor. Now I've done a couple already. You see one here and here, but on the other side, nothing yet. What I've done is I've poked a hole through, through the foam core base, and out to the other side. And that gives me a mark to put this half through, and then I set this bit on the bottom, and use a punch tool to set the two together. Attaching the inner bag to the outer bag is another challenge. Now, Adam's video, he just made a bag with one piece. There was no inner material. On Miles's video, he attached the inner to the outer and then sewed it together. But that left him with a seam on the inside. Now, I like Ellen's method the most, where you attach the seam allowance of the inner to the seam allowance of the outer at the bottom, sandwiching that foam core piece or whatever you want to use. And then you have no seams and it's a nice smooth finish and it's quite neat and hopefully quite tidy as well. Hers was, mine, we'll see. Base is in and I've joined the bottom of the inner to the bottom of the outer. Let me try and show you. This bit in here, right down in the base. Yay, you can just about see that, there we go. So right down in there, I've sewn the inner to the outer. Same on the other side. Now I've got a decision to make. These side bits, the bits that run up the edge, they both have seams and I could join them together but I won't be able to get the sewing machine right in down to the bottom here. So what I'm gonna to have to do, I think, which is gonna be tricky, is hand sew half of that edge, because I can't, with this thick baseboard in, get it into the sewing machine. Let's go. I've got a decision to make now. I'm gonna use these clips, they're Cobra clips. They appear on the Martian suit but I've got to decide, do I want grey webbing, orange webbing to attach them to the bag? This is what I'm talking about. I quite like the orange handle and how it matches with the base. It kind of adds a symmetry and echoing that same design. But I feel orange and orange and orange and a big orange strap across the top. It's maybe a bit much, so orange, orange, grey. Straps are quite simple. If you take a length of webbing, fold it in half, and then put a bit of a top stitch along this bit here, you get a nice handle. This is the way they do it in Adam's original video, and I'm gonna stick with what works. Sewing the handle onto the outside before doing the top means the inside parts are gonna be hidden, and I think for a clean look, it's gonna look better. Good news, handles are attached. Bad news, even after tidying, I've got nothing left to do but to tackle the zipper. I don't know why it fills me with dread. It's really just that there are so many different layers. You've got the outer, you've got the zipper, you've got the inner, and then you've also got the bit that the wire runs through. And trying to get those all in the right order, have the right order of operations, I can't even say it, but I've got to get on with it. And you want to know why I think this bit's going to be tricky? Now we can either prepare the handles or we can place a zipper. Either option could be... Let's do the zipper, that sounds harder. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, that bit.
day three, and yes, new t-shirt, new Christmas tree, ignore that, it's any time of the year. And we're almost done. I've got to add the metal side support, a couple of clips, and then finish off the strap, but that is almost it. One of the final pieces is to add a channel to hold some metal supports. Now these are the metal pieces I've got. I bent these out of three millimeter stainless steel and I've rounded the edges just a little bit so they're not sharp. They fit inside a channel in the bag, which you can see I've pinned in place here. And I just need to run a stitch along the bottom of that. And we should be done with the bag itself. And then it's just the strap. The last part to make was the strap. Now, you can do this a lot of different ways, but this is the way I did it. And I just love these clips. They finish off the bag really nicely. Here's the finished article. I'm really happy with how things turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. If you want to see other videos like this, then you can check them out here. Or if you really want to catch up with everything I do, then hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Making Adam Savage's ED2, Adam Savage's? I didn't turn on anything, did I? Oh no, I did. Oh, I turned on the sound. Hooray!